Welcome to Electron Lens. Let's <laughs> <laughs> think about lenses. All right. Welcome to Electron Line. Just so that we can see the pattern for multi-lens systems, let's do one more. Let's now amp it up one more to four lenses to see what the equivalent focal length will be for a four lens system now that we know what it looks like for a three lens system. So the way we're going to approach this time is we're going to have the total equivalent focal length for four lenses. We'll write as F with a capital T, where F with a small t represents the focal length for a three lens system and simply use the product over the sum method here, where the first three lenses the, the focal length is represented by f with a small t, and then of course we add an additional fourth lens to that. So now we're going to replace f with small t with what that's equal to for a three lens system. That means that the focal length for the four lens system is equal to f4 times, we have f1, and in the denominator, see here, we have f4 plus, here we're adding it, to f1, f2, f2. Like that. Now we just have to simplify that. Okay, let's see how we can do that. How about if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by this right here? Let's do that. So we're going to multiply the top by f1 and the whole thing divided by f1, f2. When we do that, notice that this denominator will cancel out, and this will cancel out if I multiply this times the f4 right here. So then the new equation becomes f total is equal to, this is now gone, so we are left with, in the numerator, f1, f2, f3, f4, all divided by multiplying this times this, we end up with f4 times f1. So it's multiplying f4 times this, and I have to add to that plus what I have in here, which is, and then if we multiply all that out, we shouldn't end up with the equation for four lenses that the equivalent or total focal length is equal to. In the numerator, we have the focal length of all four lenses. In the denominator we end up with, let's put in the correct order, so we have f1, f2, f3, plus f1, f2, f1 to f3 to f4. Let's do that. Uh, let's see, f1, f2, f3. What would be a good order to put that in? Hmm. Okay, let's do it like this. How about f1, f3, f4, f1, f2, f4, how about that? And then plus f1, f3, f4, and then plus, make this a little longer, and then we have the last one, which is f2, f3, f4. Yeah, that's probably the best way to write it. And we'll see in just a moment why. Okay, so now we went from a three lens system and the equivalent focal length for that to a four lens system. Notice that in each case, it's always going to be the product of the focal lengths in the numerator, and then in the denominator, we'll end up with a number of terms. Here we end up with three terms in the denominator for three lenses. Here we end up with four terms in the denominator for four lenses. Notice that in each term of the four terms, you only have three focal lengths, and they kind of rotate. So you start with one, two, three, one, two, four, 1, 3, 4, and then 2, 3, 4. So the four possible combinations without any repetition. And so that's how you end up with a four lens system, the equivalent focal length for a four, four lens system. And that's kind of the way you want to order them. And now we'll do a general case in one of the next videos so you can see how you can build it up to any number of lenses to come up with a simple way of expressing the equivalent focal length. And that's how it's done.